Hey guys, so I wanted to make this video because um, of a way God spoke to me again when I arrived here in Australia because I came because my father died and I had to, you know, we had to deal with uh, everything uh, including organizing for the funeral and everything and uh, when I came, I saw this spider, check this out So I just want to introduce you right now, here you go Here's the spider. It's called the St. Andrew's Cross Spider. This was at my dad's house when I arrived, near next to the fence. See, there's a fence here. And we're here in the house, in the back, kind of back side yard kind of thing. And there you go. St. Andrew's Cross Spider. Now, I've never seen that spider before, like I mentioned in the video. Um, I've been in Australia for many years, never seen this type of spider before, um, personally. So the weird thing again that you saw in the video was called St. Andrew's Cross Spider. And the reason was because immediately when we went there and we saw that on the fence of my father's house, uh, God was trying to tell me immediately, give me counsel, to give me advice, to uh, warn me. Because this, there's a scripture that says, that Jesus says, um, whoever wants to follow him must deny himself, take up his cross and follow me, follow Jesus. Um, which means to deny your way and what you want to do in a specific uh, place when it contradicts what God would want you to act like, behave like, you know, respond like, um, or what he would want you to do. So um, he was with that, that scripture was part of that um, sign that God wanted me to see. This spider that I've never seen before end up being at, that, at, at my dad's house, and it's called St. Andrew's Cross Spider. Um, and God's trying to tell me, listen, it's going to be a difficult time, and you'll need to make sure that you uh, take up your cross during this time. Deny yourself and follow me, because there's going to be times you're going to want to respond in the flesh, because it's going to be difficult things going on. And you're going to want to get frustrated, angry, and all that kind of stuff, but take up your cross Deny that and follow me instead. Follow my way. And so that was one of the ways, again, that God spoke to me through seeing that. Um, again, which is weird that that spider is there. And I didn't even know that's what it's called. My actual wife found out because a friend told her that's what this spider is actually called. Um, and, you know, again, the reason why it was a web and a spider was to also show that Satan had a plan to, to trap me, to to uh, bind me up in a web through me functioning in the flesh to so be careful, um, you know, in this time that you're here. Um, so the second thing was I also went for a walk because after like being here a couple of days, I, I, I asked this question, you know, God, do you want me to move back to Australia? Because, you know, my plans, uh, I, how, I hold them you know, very loosely, and I, I want God to do whatever He wants with me. Um, and so, in the Bible, it says it's, it's okay for a man to plan his steps, but God directs his path. So, we're, it's okay to, to, to make plans. So, you know, I just asked God, do you want me to move back here now from Cyprus? And uh, I didn't get an answer, so I just, I don't really go, I don't demand the answer from God. I just, I ask, and whenever He wants to Tell me, you can tell me, and how he wants to tell me, you can tell me. Because there's many ways he's spoken to me through the years. Um, and he tells me by this. I went for a walk, and just down the road from where my dad decided to buy a house, there's this court, a street, named this. So here it is. This is the, I was going for a walk, just so you can see. Look, Andrew Court, right there, boom. All right. And then, as I'm still walking in that same day, I see this street or this uh, place again in the same walk. Okay, and here we go now, we're approaching Cypress Place. Here you go, look. See that? See it clearly? 
Cypress Place. And what's weird, again, I've never seen this in Australia, that something can be spelled properly, like the way we spell Cyprus. Um, usually it's spelled C-Y-P-R-E-S-S, which is the Cypress tree. But this one was actually spelled properly. There you go. Cypress Place. So, notice now, God again answered, Andrew, Cyprus. I want you in Cyprus. <laughs> so, this is one of the ways that God will speak to you. See, one of them was, uh, he had things downloaded to me when I saw the spider. And when I found out that the name is St. Andrew's Cross Spider. Um, with this second bit, though, he didn't need to download anything. I already knew because it was so obvious. And it can't be a coincidence, guys. He, out of, like I said, everywhere he went, that could have moved. He moves to a place where, you know, this place is called Andrew's Court. And uh, right down the street after that is, uh, you know, Cypress Place. Um, so, this is some of the ways that God will speak to you. Don't get all caught up sometimes they're thinking that it's always going to be like that because sometimes people get fanatical and overboard and over-spiritualize everything. They'll see numbers. They'll say, oh, I keep seeing the number of this and the number of this every day. And then they'll, you'll hear them do this all the time continuously because they go overboard and over-spiritualize things and now they're just being their own flesh trying to spiritualize something that's not spiritual at that moment. God is not speaking to that person through that way at that moment. Um, and so, yeah, God wants to speak to you in many ways, in different ways. And in the Bible and through Christian experience, you'll find out He speaks through visions and dreams as you, uh, obviously, in the Bible. Uh, through the Bible, through a knowing, through um, someone else coming to tell you something that they felt that God spoke to them to tell you. Um, through impressions and um, through these kind of things where you signs happen like... Out of the blue, you might see uh, 13, 1, and out of the blue comes to you Daniel 13, 1 in the Bible. So you open up Daniel 13, 1, and, say, and there's the verse that you know speaks to you. But like I said, don't over-spiritualize it, because I've seen people that keep doing that, and they'll flip to Daniel 13, 1, or whatever, and the passage that says something that they don't, doesn't make sense, or doesn't, it does, they don't like. And so they'll flip to Isaiah chapter 12, you know, 13 verse 1. Oh, okay, that didn't make sense. Let me try John. And they keep moving the Bible all over the place because it wasn't God. It was just them. But it's good to test it. It's good to check, you know, because we're learning. Um, because he does speak that way too. So, um, yeah, okay. So I hope he's blessed you to be aware of God's ways. And uh, you don't have to try to make it happen. He makes it so obvious that you don't have to figure it out. It's just there and he downloads after the sign that you see, he downloads the answer uh, you know, to what he's trying to say to you if it's from him. You don't have to try to conjure it up or make it up you know, in your head. All right, guys. Thank you. Bye.